I'm Brian. And I'm Debbie. And we are the Buffalo Bourbon Enthusiasts. Take a look at what we're going to be reviewing today. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> this is a Great Jones Straight Bourbon. This is not going to be the shelfer you're going to see in stores. Mm -hmm. Out of New York with the little apple. We selected this with Brian Fabiano from Bourbon School and his wife, Marie Ann, who is their producer. At Midnight Liquors. At Midnight Liquors in Tonawanda. In we're going to open this and we're going to see how it tastes a few days later. All right, give it a little paparino. <laughs> Let's open this one. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us, Deb. Why do we have two? No. Two. Why why on God's green earth would we have two? Are we so because vain? Because it's that good. <laughs> Are we so vain? It's good, but we're gonna have a giveaway. As soon as we hit 500, 500 subscribers, you're all gonna go in for this one and we will send it out to you as a thank you. All right. So let's, we're going to talk about the bottle and we're going to talk about the experience. As we said, we went to Midnight Liquors. Herman's my man there. Uh, Herman actually sent me a text, wanted to know if I wanted to um, pick a barrel, the Great Jones. I'm just like, sure. And then I'm like, can I bring another station in, right? So I reached out to Brian Fabiano. And he said he was interested. So then the four of us met at Midnight Liquors in Tonawanda. You'll see pictures below. Oh, I, can, I can't be remiss. Who did I forget? Who was there? Oh, Alan. Oh, no, oh, Craig. Nick was there oh, for this Nick. one. Oh, that's Nick, right, Nick. My buddy Nick was there. Grateful Dram. You can follow him on Instagram. And the five of us picked this one. Now, I'll have... Photos below as I'm talking, you can see the three samples we chose. Uh, this was the best one, probably because it was the highest proof, but it was also delicious. So, you know, Brian was excited coming in, Nick was coming in, and we chose this one. Now, we just don't choose anyone. After we chose this bottle, we went- Three more. Three more. We did a Taconic. We didn't like any of them. So we said it's a pass. Starlight, very surprising. We kind of liked them, but not enough to... Warrant the price. Right. Yeah. And then today we did Nashville Barrel Company. Eh. And... For the it, price. It wasn't... No, not for $90 a bottle. And the standard shelfer we could get in New York State that... Is better. Yes, for 70 bucks. So we're not just going to pick a bottle to pick a bottle. We have to like it. That's how we're rolling. Mm -hmm. And Herman's cool with it. He appreciates it. He doesn't want him sitting on his shelf. These, I forget how many he had. Uh, the day we uh, premiered it at the liquor store with him, 65 were going off the shelf. That's pretty right. good. Roughly two-thirds, because yeah. I think he had around 100, a shade under 100. So uh, they pretty much flew off the shelf. So and there's not many left, so run and get it for yeah. that price. Yeah, the price... Uh, the initial day was uh, $46.99, $47.99, $47.99. Uh, it's on the shelf now for $59.99. But if you go in, mention our channel, you get it for the $47.99. Can't go wrong for that. Yeah, it's, it's, really, it's really good. And Herman's a great guy. Mm -hmm. That's the guy you want to talk to when you're there. Um, and check out his shelves. He's got some good stuff. Yeah, yeah, they're 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 growing, growing as Leaps a liquor and bones. store. Yeah. <laughs> so let's get back to the bourbon. This is seventy five percent New York corn. They had other ones that had like blue corn, red corn. Mm -hmm. They were lower proofs. They were underwhelming. And this is kind of weird on the mash bill. I looked up. It's twenty five percent malt and rye. So they're not giving you this percent malt, this percent rye. They're saying like. The rest of it's malt and rye. We really don't know what it is. Okay, I don't know what it is. 106 proof. Don't have an age statement on there. Okay. Uh, this was March 30th. Midnight Liquors. Blah, blah, blah. We did all that. 
small, small, small background. <laughs> all right, Mr. Fisher. <laughs> well, first of all, take a look at this. I don't know if you can see it. This is like a Art Deco design, and it, it looks like a like a, a a bridge, like a suspension bridge. There, I don't know if you can see that. I like all the bridges in New York City. Yeah, so it's pretty. Cool. Got an apple with the lightning <clears throat> bolt going through. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Um. Okay, you're hiding my cheat sheet okay. here. <laughs> this is a Manhattan distillery. Now, I'm just going to read a little snippet I got from their website. It says, in 1920, alcohol was banned in New York City. In 2021, we declared it essential. We, as in Great Jones Distillery. Uh, this is Manhattan's first whiskey distillery since mm. Prohibition. So, they were around and shut down for about 100 years, and they reopened in 2021 that's what i get out of that and if you go to their website the the distillery and the restaurant and everything looks really cool maybe we should go to new york city again all right we haven't been there in 20 years i bet you years yeah all right let's dig into this we got two bottles here one for me one for dub yeah <laughs> one for you guys okay now i remember when i first tried this i was getting grapefruit off of it on the palette? Yeah. And then when I read the um the notes off of the uh off the box, it said radicchio. Yeah, I, I can't radicchio is so bitter. Yeah, well so was grapefruit. So that's yeah, what I was getting. True. Citrus peel. I don't even know what this is. Palo Santo, what is that? Mm, I don't know. Sure Burnt orange. But it was getting I was getting a lot of what they were saying. Now obviously I didn't differentiate between the two. I said it kind of tastes like grapefruit, you know. I'll be that, honest, that on the citrus. nose not too much. A little citrusy, that's it. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. I'm going in. I, I like it because it's it's interesting. It's it's unique. I get that on the end I get the little the bitterness. I'm gonna say bitter, but like the peel, the peel taste. Good. No, it's it's definitely interesting. Mm -hmm. Um it's got flavor. The first sip, the um, the sweetness I got, it, it, it tasted like a, I don't know, not not a caramel. It tastes more like a granulated sugar or something. But then, then that that dissipated. Now it's just t it's tough. It's, I know. I don't know how people can differentiate different sweets. Hmm. Like a candied orange peel. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely more like like a sweeter fruit, and then on the back end, you are getting that um, bitterness, but not a bad. It's it's yeah. a it's a faint bitterness, right? I've had, I've had some where it's like really bitter. It's not like a um, Penelope Valencia bitter, which I like, by the way. It's not that bitter. That's good. That's right in my wheelhouse too. This is this no. This is nice. This is gonna. This is a nice summertime sipper. For the proof bucks. isn't too high. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Love to hear your your comments on it. Try it and see if we're way off or if our palates mesh or what. Nobody gonna get this one because there's only about a hundred bottles out there, yeah. Yeah. and everyone that's bought it has bought two because they liked it. So, All right, so I'm gonna give it a score. Now I gotta be honest here. I can't just inflate yeah. the score. Because it's a bottle we picked, right? So mm -hmm. three six, <laughs> which is a good score. I was going between three six and three eight. I was actually probably going to say three seven. Three seven, to be <laughs> honest three, with seven. you. So three seven, right? And and if you watch us, right, you're probably like, and, and this is out of five, you're probably like, that score sucks, almost. Every bottle we do, unless it's really bad or super highly allocated. Yeah, it could be super highly allocated. I don't care for it. But, <laughs> but I mean, most of our scores fall yeah. in this range, right? Which is good. It's yeah. Good right. You know, so buy this because it's unique, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, nice. We've got about four more barrel picks with him, too, coming up. So. Mm. 
Yeah, no, nice. Yep, yeah, we, we, we're trying to find one. I mean, we really want to, you know, it's tough to show restraint when you're doing those barrel picks because mm. you want to pick one, right? Mm -hmm. Like the Starlight. Yeah, I thought for sure we're going to go gaga over that. The, the, the ported, it's like they spent too much time in the port barrel. And it was too sweet for me. Um, Brian really enjoyed it. Uh, and we were all different. The Valencia, I think, needed more time because I wanted more flavor. And the double oak was just kind of funky. Yeah, the video was good, not for 90 bucks, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Great Jones, 106 proof. Midnight Liquors. Herman's the man. That's in Tonawanda. Mm -hmm. uh, 500 subs. Eh, you know, I, you never know. I might cave in. No. Giveaway. <laughs> it's a different bottle. You can't get it. So each one of you tell a friend to subscribe and we'll make it. As soon as we know we got the 500, we'll do the, the video where we pick someone. All right. Thank it'll, you. Be, it'll be a better video. Uh, it'll work better. <laughs> We're learning. Yeah, my last live video was kind of shaky. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Cheers. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button, leave a comment below, and subscribe to our station. It's good. Oh, I like it. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really pleased. Yeah, I do. I mean.